Okay, so I did a recent video on this SD card extension cable. I had some trouble with it, especially with overclocking. I've been playing around with it more and trying different settings and seeing what does and doesn't work. Uh, and I've got a file here where I've done all my testing. So it didn't work with my normal overclock of over voltage 8, ARM frequency 2147 and GPU frequency at 750. All of these settings work with the SD card plugged directly into the Pi but as soon as you use the extension cable, it doesn't work. Now my theory in the last video was that there wasn't enough power getting to it. So I tried a few different things. So I tried the same setting, but I tried increasing the over voltage uh, to supply a bit more power to it. Didn't make any difference, still didn't boot up. Uh, I tried uh, over voltage of four with a lower clock frequency and GPU frequency, still didn't work. Over voltage of two, with uh, an ARM frequency of 1600. The stock frequency is 1500, so that's an ever so slight overclock. Uh, still didn't work. Even with over voltage one, I still couldn't get it to boot. Uh, but it does boot if you don't put any over voltage in at all. So it seems like it doesn't like as soon as you apply over voltage. And this, I found this in Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit uh, and also in Twister OS 32-bit. They were the main ones I was trying. Um, but it does work in lots of other systems. I did get asked a question in my comments, uh, but if the SD card slot is not accessible, how are you supposed to plug in the adapter? I did try and explain, um, but I didn't really make it clear enough, I guess. So if I go to uh, this Facebook Dospian group, this is a perfect example. This isn't mine, um, but this is a keyboard someone's created uh, for Dospian. And you can see they've got a shorter cable than mine, but a cable in there going from the Pi to the outside of the casing. Now, if I go back, I should be able to get one of these, yeah, one of these images has got the, you can see there, that's the SD card slot. So this is why you would do it. And uh, obviously the card slot is accessible, but in something like this keyboard, you're gonna wanna leave it shut. So this is the sort of finished article, and I think it looks great. I think it's uh, a lot of it's 3D printed and various things. But uh, so if that's what you want to achieve, something like that, but still have uh, access to the SD card slot, that's why you would use this cable. You have access to the slot when you're building it, but once you've built it, you don't want to take it apart to change the SD card slot. So if I go to my last Pi News video, I think it was this one, this should have a link in it to uh, one of the cases I'm getting. And this was what kind of prompted getting this cable, which is this one. So 52 Pi are sending me one of these uh, to test. And when I saw this image, I don't know if this will give me a big, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, you can see the SD card slot is here. That's inaccessible. Uh, so once you've got that case built, and your Pi is fixed in the case, you can't get an SD card in there. Now it's not too much of an issue because the Pi supports USB boot, but it's nice to have the option. I was gonna plug the ribbon cable in here and have it on one of the shelves, but maybe this side or coming out this side, you can see there's access to the uh, HDMIs, the audio and the power here. The USBs are on the back, so there's plenty of access to that, but it's that would be the only thing that was pretty much blocked off because you still have access to the GPIO pins, really. That's the theory behind it. So let's try different operating systems and see what does and doesn't boot, because it's a bit of a mixed bag, really. Okay, so this is Dospian running, and uh, this is not overclocked because I don't overclock Dospian, but you can see it's booted up fine. So Windows 10 boots up fine. Uh, this is overclocked to two gigahertz with uh, an over voltage of six and the GPU at 750. So RetroPie 64 CRT Arcade Blast works at 2 GHz. It did seem to boot up a bit slower than normal, but it is working fine. So I've tried MacBuntu and Monkabuntu, uh, which are based on Ubuntu 20.04 and 20.06, and both of them stop at this loading screen. Uh, well, it's a different loading screen with MacBuntu, but it stops at this point uh, with the overclock. So Lineage OS works fine. This is the Consta Kang version of Android 10. Um, and uh, it's overclocked to 2147, over voltage of 8 and 750 on the GPU, uh, and that works great. Okay, so I had a theory that Berry Boot might work uh, with Twister OS, but uh, as you can see, it's having some sort of issue reading uh, the card. 
this is within the long cable the 48 centimeter cable so let's quit that and uh, let's start let's try it without the cable okay so that's booted up fine uh, just to go into the edit menu to show you what it was set at uh, so I tried config.txt at uh, over voltage 8, arm frequency 2147 and GPU frequency 750. I suppose I could try it a little bit lower on everything. Uh, so let's try 1750 with an over voltage of 5. Uh, and let's, So that will save that and exit out of that. So I'll just boot it once in the normal way. So this is booting up with the SD card in the Pi, not in the cable. So let's hit boot. Yeah, see no error there. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's going to work fine. So let's try it once again with the cable. I think last time for this test, because I spent ages doing this. Uh, here we go. So it started, um, but it's coming up with a data issue. Uh, so it looks like it's definitely struggling. I can see the green light is on and off. Uh, and every now and then my mouse pointer stops working. So let's quit out of that. Okay, so it definitely is conclusive that if you apply any over voltage, it doesn't like it. Uh, it uh, on certain operating systems, if a, if a system has a completely different boot, so like the way Windows 10 boots, like the way Lineage OS boots, then it's absolutely fine and you can overclock to the same degree as I normally do, so 2147. But uh, if you're using most operating systems, so Ubuntu seems to struggle with it, Twister OS and Raspberry Pi OS. I'd be interested to know what other people have had results on with maybe shorter cables or other cables. If you could try, if you've got Twister OS or Raspberry Pi OS, try it at an overclock with an over voltage and, uh, and see how you get on and let me know. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.